ಉದಯಾಗವಾನ್ವತಾಶೋಕಗುಣಾಪುಲಂಬಕಂಬಕಂ by following the vedic ritualistic ceremonies or undergoing atonement sinful men do not become as purified as by chanting once the holy name of the lord hari all the ritualistic atonement may free one from sinful reaction it does not awaken devotion service unlike the chanting of the lord's name it reminds one of the lord's fame qualities attributes past times and paraphernalia so this is what is going on who is speaking these verses ठीक है द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज गोइंग ऑन एंड द इंस्टेंस हैज बीन टेकन अ अजामिला लाइफ अजामिला वाज सिनफुल होल लाइफ ही वाज अ पायस ब्राह्मण इन द बिगिनिंग बट डिग्रेडेड टू अवैधिक एक्टिविटीज एक्टिविटीज व्हिच आर नॉट रिकमेंडेड इन द वेदास एंड व्हिच आर लीडिंग टू हिज डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस एंड नॉट ओनली इज गिविंग पेन टू हिमसेल्फ इज गेन गिविंग पेन टू सो मेनी अदर पीपल that the what the jamila was doing and then what happened uh, but still krishna was kind to him and he inspired him to chant his holy names how by making him name his last son as narayana so he is 85 year old plus and he is still 88 years the child is born he is saying narayana 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 even though he is not referring to lord narayana Uh, it is not shuddha naam in pure understanding and all but definitely it is also not naam apradha he is not making any offenses he is just chanting the names and then what happens gradually just by that chanting his heart starts getting purified and then when the point of his death he with the tears in his eyes he asks narayana for protection 
immediately Vishnu has come to protect her. So, so powerful. Now, generally, if you go normal process of prayashita, it is very difficult. I gave that example of one person. What is his name? When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him to go to Vrindavan and chant the holy names. You know. Huh? Subhudira. You know, Subhudira. He, you know, some situation, he wanted some kind of purification. And people gave him some very heavy kind of purification. You drink molten lead or drink uh, molted, melted, you know, ghee, a high temperature. It's all burn him. He will die. So he has Lord Chaitanya, what should I do? He says, go to Vrindavan, sit down and chant. It's the best thing you can do. So we do not know that there is nothing comparable to what we are doing. Sometimes we tell, you know, in Bhagavad Gita also, Yagna Nama Japa Yagna Asmi. Among all the Yagnas, uh, the greatest Yagna is chanting the holy names of the Lord. So we do not know. Uh, chanting, when you do, don't think it refers to only Japa. It refers to Kirtan also. Rather, Sometimes Kirtan is more effective because you are very attentively hearing. Okay? Kirtan. Chanting. You know, chanting is very important. People think only my Japa is more. No. Soft chanting is called Japa. Loud chanting is called Kirtan. We should not misunderstand. Uh, when the chanting is said, it refers to both. So chanting the holy name of the Lord is so powerful. Therefore, it looks so auspicious. When devotees chant the holy name of the Lord, the whole atmosphere becomes so auspicious. Uh, in fact, uh, it is said this, you know, in Kali Yuga, there is only Yagna. Uh, it is said that by rain, what is the shloka in Bhagavad Gita? By rain we get food. Annad bhavati bhutani, parjanya anna samavah. Then, yagnad bhavati parjanya, yagna karma samutubhava. It is said, annad bhavati bhutani, all the living entities are subsisting on food grain. Anna beko, Allah jana ki Anna beko. Then, Parjanya Anna Samava. Now by rain you get food. Can you say this? Isn't it logical? Because of rain food is there. Logical. It's a simple, the understanding is there. And then, but the next line is not understood. Yagnad Bhavati Parjanya. Uh, the Yagna. Uh, because of Yagna, the rain comes. People think rain is coming because there is some cyclone. Because there is a low temperature, depression, all this is there, but it, nothing is happening automatically. They think, everybody thinks, nature is moving automatically. There is nothing like automatically. Whole clouds loaded with water will just go away. That's all. That is your automatically. Okay? It happens. It can go. <laughs> no rain in, in that place. So, yagna. Yagna is very much needed. Okay? Uh, now, they try so many ways. Now, there is no rain. No, do yagna. If you don't do yagna, it will not come. Mm. So therefore, what is yagna to be done? You know, people try all those things. All you have seen that when there is no rain, people will sit in the water. They make big, big tubs like you have the water tubs, and people will sit in that water tub and they do arti. They do all kind of uh, ways to appease Indra and uh, offer some yagna. But actually, in Kali Yuga, all the yagnas are gone. Prabhupada used to say. All the Vedic mantras are gone to hell in Kali Yuga. That's how they lost their potency. Because where are the people who can chant them? Where are the people? Therefore, Prabhupada did not train his disciples in chanting Vedic mantras. You don't see any particular training he has done. Sometimes it's okay for festivals and all. If somebody knows, he can chant. But it is not primary. Correct? Okay? Somebody can chant, uh, what do you call that? Sahasra Shishaha. Purusha Shukta, or so many other Vedic mantras are there. You see that in a house, we have functions, the pujaris come and do that, all those things. But they lost their potency. But what is most potent, which Prabhupada gave to everybody, he has to distribute. Why didn't he distribute other Vedic mantras? He gave the most potent mantra. What is that? Maha mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari, Hari. What happens when somebody accepts the chanting of this Mahamantra? The Sankirtana Yagna. Therefore it is said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came for that purpose only. To teach people, to do this Yagna. Krishna Varnam, Tusha Krishnam, Sango, Panga, Sapashadam, Yagnai Sankirtan, Pray, Janti, He came to give Nama Sankirtana Yagna. What happens when people accept the Nama Sankirtana Yagna? Yajanti, He Sumedha Saha. Immediately, 
All the intelligent people accept this process. It is said in Kali Yuga, all intelligent people will accept. Those who don't accept Krishna, in Krishna's certificate, they are not intelligent. They are Buddhus. You tell me it is Chandra Ray Krishna? No, Buddhu. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it is said in the Bhagavatam, intelligent people will accept the process. Jajanti hi sumedha saha. Sumedha saha means who have some brain substance. Alpa medha saha means no brain substance. The silver gober varai. Those who are sumedha saha, they will accept the process of chanting the holy names of the Lord. And if he, uh, Bhagavad Gita also Prabhupada says, he, submit to the hearing process. Yesterday we were reading Bhagavad Gita, 13th chapter, Prabhupada said so nicely. Those people who submit to the hearing process only, accept the hearing. What is the hearing process? Nama and the message, Bhagavata. Correct? Two things we are hearing. We are hearing the Japa and Kirtan, we are hearing the Bhagavata. When we accept, submit ourselves to this hearing process, what will happen? Gradually, our love for Krishna will awaken in the heart. And that is also the greatest yagna. This process itself is the greatest yagna. Uh, we are sitting down reading Bhagavatam. The great yagna we are doing. All we are attracting the mercy of Krishna. Uh, Acharyas are so pleased. When you try to associate with them. Try to understand what they are trying to say. They are so pleased. Uh, we have our desire to dominate material nature. But just when we submit ourselves to the hearing process, the desire evaporates. And the desire to serve Krishna, Tarshanat, awakens in the heart. Take a Dharma Poja, the Kaita Vatra, Parmon, and Vasaranam Sata, Veda Masu, Vatra Shivadam, Tapa, Trayun, Mulanam, Shiman, Bhagavadam, Hamuni, Krita, Kimma, Parashara, Satyo, Hridi, Evrede, Krita, Bi, Tarshanat. Immediately, Tarshanat, the desire to serve Krishna, is established in the core of the heart. Just by chanting the holy names of the Lord, and hearing his glories as given up your devotees. It is so powerful. Correct? So this is the highest yagna. You know, we don't have to imagine, oh, we are not lighting fire, we are not offering thing. Don't worry. This is the highest yagna. It's like we are having God Purnima now. Let us do some homa. What? Who told? Why are you wasting your time? Prabhupada said, you can do homa yagnas. Lot of people will come in India. They will sit down. And you have wasted their time and wasted your time. You may collect some money also. You say, no, there was one person who said, I was doing Kuvera Yagna one place. Lakhs of people collected because they all want money. And he was doing one by one family by some Kuvera, Homa and all. People will come. Lot of people will come. In India, a lot of people will come and sit down when you do Homa and all. Waste of their time and waste of your time. You may make some money, but it's not, it's not going to be of any use. If you really want to benefit people, uh, you engage them in Sankirtana Yagna. And that is effective. And it is said here that that is so powerful, it can destroy any kind of sin. You know, the list of sins that are said are very embarrassing actually, you know. But any kind of sin can be washed away. But there are two things to it. Number one is that we should not plan like that. Okay, I will do sinful activity, then I will chant holy name of the Lord, I will purify. No, that should not be the plan. Because the past bad habits, sometimes mistake happens. But not that we plan, no. Number one. Number two. How many times Krishna will forgive you? One time, two times. Not that every day we plan like that. Anyway, holy name is very merciful. Huh? It's a mercy means you cannot force person to give. Can you say, uh, my dear Lord Krishna, I did some sinful activity. Please pardon me. And Krishna is not pardoning. You're merciful now. You have to pardon. Can you say like that? There's nothing have to. It's a person. He may say, okay, fine. Don't do it again. And again you do, then Krishna may not pardon. Then suffer whole life. That sinful activity will harass the mind whole life. So we have to pray to the Lord for sincerely, uh, because not only this life, for millions of life, probably we have done all the activity which are listed. Probably, possible, all. Uh, but at the same time, when you sincerely take shelter of the Lord, just like Lord Chaitanya told Jagai Madai, when Jagai Madai came to Lord Chaitanya, that please give us shelter. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, yes, I will give you. But on the condition that you do not do the sinful activities again. Correct? So much papa they have done Jagayana Madai. But he said, okay, that's fine. But don't do it again. So that should be the principle. Uh, the principle is that we do not commit the sinful activities uh, after we come to the shelter of the Lord. And then the Lord may be kind, seeing our sincerity. Yesham tu antakatam papam jananam punni karmanam te dunnamo nirmuktam bhajante maam dhridavrataha. 
uh, that is the way to fix ourselves the lord in the heart and become determined to serve krishna what is the condition yesham tu antagatam papa uh, we should give up all the sinful habits uh, jananam punni karmana birth after birth we should do pious activities yesham tu antagatam papam jananam punni karmana te dwandha moha nirmukta then only the mind becomes free from all the dualities what is the duality this is body i am the soul i am not able to separate duality it is heat and cold i become so disturbed correct it's hot now student duality it's on and it is on correct duality means is you know duality comes because of a desire for enjoyment then something is good in this world something is bad proper said what is duality whole metal world is bad all bad spiritual world all good but because we are finding something good in this world then there is a kind of duality this is beautiful this is ugly what is the nonsense everything is ugly in this world if you are finding something beautiful we are in maya if you are finding some uh, anything attractive in this world you are in maya of one sense nice and very nice you are in maya ha huh? in one sense material th- cannot be attractive only when something is offered to krishna yes that is spiritual variety but a person is not interested in material variety that's a kind of duality he is not interested te dwanda this dwanda he is not interested uh, he is only interested in absolute platform there is no dwanda we also know that when a neophyte consciousness there is always dwanda in the mind i will enjoy i will not enjoy i will enjoy but in the heart is happy in krishna consciousness there is no dwanda dwanda is only when consciousness is low don't do i will do Don't do, don't do. I will do. The dwanda fight is going on. Take care. And the heart is purified. There is no dwanda. Dwanda moha nirmuktam. He is fully freed from the dwanda. He is blissful. When you are blissful, there is no dwanda. Then in absolute platform. In absolute platform, there is no dwanda. He is peaceful. Huh? Very happy. Ah, uh, blissful. Just like you know, in a uh, boxing match, dwanda is going on. They are fighting. The similarly, mind is fighting like that. but when you come to krishna consciousness it's all over there is no fight you accepted krishna's lotus feet the mind has been purified ah uh, yesham tu antagatam papam jananam therefore this process take birth after birth jananam punni karmanam the whole mind is washed there will no sinful activity done and birth after birth we are doing only pious activity the mind is pure now theek hai na te dwanda moha nirmuktam therefore only in satguna person can offer devotion service satguna is finally material but it's a launch pad to the krishna's lotus feet you cannot hold your mind steady in krishna's lotus feet if there is rajaguna and tamaguna therefore proper says how much you may advertise a pa- foolish and passionate cannot offer devotion service however may advertise i am a devotee he is not a devotee if a person is lethargic if the person has passion for enjoyment he is not a devotee devotee is only actually when he becomes purified the heart is pure uh, there was somebody went to prabhupada prabhupada and offering devotion so the mind is disturbing prabhupada you are making a show you are not a devotee devotee means mind should be calm correct okay? bhakti is extremely powerful that means it is not still acted so very sincerely we should execute the process keep ourselves free from sinful activities enthusiastically offer devotion service and wait for krishna's mercy when krishna's mercy comes definitely and it's not that mercy come once it doesn't come again uh, that means it goes away we have been rejected krishna gave mercy we felt so blissful but then again we do sinful activities again we are lethargic again we are foolish and passionate mercy is better we feel again dried up material world is looking so attractive correct it is not that ho gaya mercy mil gaya no mercy means the krishna gives us shelter we take shelter of the lotus feet of krishna and we take shelter of the lotus feet of maya what do you want just like it is said in the bhagavatam krishna book the kings may act so great in front of other people when they go to the inner chamber they fall at the feet of their wives for enjoyment please give me enjoyment so we are all falling at the feet of sense objects please give me enjoyment all of us so the very the mercy of krishna that when mercy of krishna comes person falls at the feet of krishna my dear lord krishna i am your servant and he feels so much bliss at the lotus feet of the lord so this is our objective ah uh, 
this is our objective not to get straight and holy name of the lord is the one which will make it happen but it should be done provided attentively what time it should be done brahma murta time very attentively chanting should be done because other time the quality of chanting will be very low take a very attentively uh, we chant and we don't take for granted uh, we should not think ho gaya i will go back to god no way even initiation means just a beginning what is there in it it's just a beginning beginning my goal is that i allow that every day my whole system take shelter of the sound vibration of the holy name of the lord which is non different from the lord i take shelter of that and i pray to the lord uh, that please keep me engaged in your devotion service whole day that is blissful krishna consciousness okay and when somebody is engaged like that sincerely engaged then the lord may be kind to wash out all the previous papa karma sarva dharman parityaj aham tvam sara pape bhyo moksha shami masu cha prabhu says we are doubting that krishna can do this we are doubting krishna therefore we don't surrender ah uh, krishna is the perfect personality therefore we are after krishna so we don't doubt we take perfect shelter of krishna completely take shelter of krishna and then what happens all kind of papa karma sarva pape bhyo the here list is given the most most horrible papa karma maybe this minutest sarva pape bhyo krishna can remove okay keep it aside just like in supreme court it happens high court make it judgment supreme court say keep it aside it's okay leave it they are giving a death penalty supreme court said okay keep it aside they can uh, so similarly krishna is the final authority so maya made a made judgment uh, there are so many agents of the lord in this world they would have made a judgment you have to punish like that you have to punish like that you have to punish like that krishna can take that whole fire and keep it aside okay that's fine continue chanting krishna can do it and it also said the papa karma even if they are burned they maintain their shape in the very nice analysis you know that it's like you burn a table after burning the shape sometimes remains they saw one place where by some radioactivity or some huge fire one mother was burned uh, holding still the child so when they went that that the the, the kind of ash or something was still there holding the child you touch it breaks that is still there so it can be revived even though we might have given up sinful activification i can burn it it is burned but we can again if you are foolish revive our old bad sinful habits okay so we should then krishna may not pardon okay it is not so cheap to be pardoned the holy name is so powerful in a moment it can burn but not that you make a business out of it proper is always upset when these things are happening in other religions people just do sinful activities and go to the place of worship and confess and pay some fine and over proper is very upset is that this is not this is cheating this is cheating we may have done some mist by mistakes on sinful activity but you cannot purposefully commit sinful activities again with the intention of i'll pay fine and get it proper that is bogus he immediately rejected it krishna will never sanction this correct you cannot think like that uh, it's not that one we pay fine and next day again start one other term of sinful activities no take okay, care so we should keep ourselves protected and we know uh, when we are making mistake we know uh, we should become very very cautious then so that the mistake doesn't happen again and we win the trust of krishna krishna can trust us and then we get shelter of the lotus feet of the guru and krishna shri prabhupad ki shrimad bhagavatam ki